Hi, I'm Clinton. And I'm Nikki, and we're here to share a glimpse of seasoned love. The real, the rugged, and the romance. Hello! Hey, we made it! Yeah. Voyagers National Park. Here we are. The sun has come out. It was raining a little bit earlier. It's beautiful in the low to mid-60s. Feels good. Feels great. It's breezy, lovely, beautiful. Let's go see if we can get into some kayaking adventures. Yes. All right. Breezy turned out to be too breezy. Full on windy and uh, choppy water. Three foot swells. The uh, ranger said. Yeah, that's not kayaking enjoyment for us. I'm not saying that we couldn't do it. I just don't want to. That yeah. doesn't sound fun to me. So we found our campsite mm -hmm. and we're going to relax for the evening and chill out. It looks like the wind will die down this evening and then tomorrow morning should be better. So we're going to try the kayaking again tomorrow yeah. morning. Here's our fun little site and we're going to get set up. Good morning. We had a great night's sleep at our campground. We did. The temperature was perfect. We had to just bundle up and it was like 50 I think, degrees. Yeah, I think it was about 50 last night. Yeah. So, no mosquitoes to speak of after it got cold enough. Right, at great. night. As soon as we got up this morning, they're ha hounding again. <laughs> yes. We have found a public boat access. The, mm -hmm. the wind has calmed and the water is smooth. Mm -hmm. So we are unhooking the kayak and going to take a stroll. We made it into the boat. <laughs> that, my friends, is half the battle. It really is. <laughs> Let's go see what adventures we can run into. Okay. Let's do this. All right. We have this fun rock crop here. Just the right direction because you'll see in just a moment the sign says entering Voyagers National Park. Proof that we kayaked in Voyagers National Park. So let's talk about that. Sometimes we are looking forward to getting somewhere so that we can enjoy being there right. right but to the extent that we don't enjoy where we are we lose the now and we're not present we paddled and paddled and paddled this beautiful lake river kind of area mm -hmm. and there's wildlife and there's other boaters and it was just a lot of fun and then we got to the national the park. national park if we would have been just focused on getting to the national park to have a good time we would have missed out on all the stuff before that. And I think sometimes we go through life looking forward to the this one day kind of thing, right? Looking for that big sign up on the hill that says entering the national park. Right. You have arrived. And some people call that retirement. Some people call that um, empty, owning, empty nesting. Sure, or, or, or even owning a home or like whatever it is, right? And they forget to enjoy life. Yeah. Even after you have that big sign up on the hill, you still have life. Sure. And so today we're just encouraging you that in the life that you're living, enjoy being present in it. Stay in the now. Yeah. are going into the wind yep. and against the current and we have our little Bixby battery powered motor. What do you, how fast do you think we're going? Probably five or six miles an hour. <laughs> and I'm not even paddling. <laughs> Good job, honey. Thank you. Good job, Bixby.
going through a fun little channel to another part of the river. Neither of us are paddling, we're having a snack. And we're still cruising along. <laughs> it's fabulous. I like when we go past other motorboats and they kind of look at us like, how the heck have I gone so fast? Uh, we're just that good. We're just that strong and we're just that fast. It's, uh, it's the energy we're using. So. <laughs> yes, call them assertive energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've been watching too much Caesar Milan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Headed back. And the lake looks like shimmering diamonds. The sky is beautiful. It's been a great paddle in Voyagers National Park. Yep. Loved it. Driving through Minnesota, look at the sky. People, this is my favorite. Check it. Paul Bunyan and Babe. Babe. <laughs> the Blue Hawks, by the way. Yes. We're at Paul Bunyan Park. Right. In a place in Minnesota. I can't say the name. Here's what I didn't know about Paul Bunyan. He has a, a big mustache and a pipe in his mouth. Oh, a pipe! I didn't know he had a pipe. Let's take a closer look. Okay. There's his pipe. You can see it from the side. All right. <laughs> He's holding Paul Bunyan's hand. Sometimes you need to have security. <laughs> See somebody your just, friend. Somebody just to hold your hand. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but it's in Minnesota. <laughs> All right, time to say goodbye to Paul Bunyan in blue and move on. It was good to see you again, good Paul. Good to see you. Bye. Next stop on the roadside oddity train, world's largest buffalo. Just wait until we see it up close. Well, here he is, world's largest buffalo, Dakota Thunder. <laughs> and he doesn't even reach, look at that. Very short. Dakota Thunder, nice to meet you. I already know where it is. Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Can't wait. <laughs>